Great. Great. Well, good morning, everyone. Great to be here. Uh, Dave Rogers, I'm a, mostly a business lawyer, so mergers, acquisitions, licensing, but I also do some em employment work. And in addition, I represent Arlington, Belmont, and Cambridge in the Massachusetts House of Representatives. And as I have done in past years, I'm going to talk a little bit about stuff that's going on in the legislature that's pending. Uh, it's impossible to predict with certainty what will become law. Um, <clears throat> but uh, we have a pretty activist legislature in our state, so there's always things brewing. A lot of what you've heard this morning came from the legislature, paid family and medical leave, uh, the non-compete uh, law reforms, and, and many others. And this session that's going on right now is no exception. There's a lot of things brewing that could have an impact on your business. Um, we're toward the end of the program, so I'm going to go through things pretty quickly. But you should always know you can email me, you can call. Uh, I'm happy to talk to you about any legislation you have concerns about. And the final thing I'd say is, you know, um, maybe you can't impact what goes on in Washington, but certainly here, uh, feel free to contact your state representative or state senator because we really do listen to what folks have on their mind. So if you have a business in someone's district, call them and say, I'm, I'm concerned about this issue. Um, I guess the, the first, uh, I don't have slides, but the first uh, piece of legislation that's, that's pending right now is called uh, the Defense Against Abusive Waivers. And the, the theory there is a lot of employers, uh, some number of employers have that packet of information they give to employees on their first day to sign, uh, some of which includes a waiver of a right to a trial by jury, uh, mandatory arbitration. And um, this would ban that. And it would also impose attorney's fees if employers try to enforce it. Uh, so I'm not sure if your companies have those uh, or not, but if you do, it's something that's, that's pending right now and could impact your business. Uh, another uh, bill that's pending that I think is, is a big deal is the anti-harassment, anti-bullying bill. And so when we talk about employment law, we talk about protected classes, national origin, race, gender, disability, well, this would create an entire new class of protected employees, and that's anyone who is bullied in the workplace. And that's abusive conduct, can, uh, can be insults, epithets, verbal or nonverbal or physical conduct of a threatening, intimidating, or humiliating nature, which creates an abusive work environment. Uh, so that's an entire new protected class of employees. So that's a big deal if this law were to pass. Um, it ha also has a retaliation component so that if someone asserts a claim or makes a, raises the issue and the employer retaliates in any way, that creates a claim. Now why that's a big deal is when you talk to plaintiff's employment lawyers, um, they'll say sometimes an employee cannot prove the discrimination on race or gender or in this case bullying but they can prove retaliation. So um, th this is a significant bill. It's got a lot of co-sponsors, a lot of senators, and a lot of representatives have co-sponsored it. I should say the way a bill's introduced is rarely the form it's in when it's finally passed and gets to Governor Baker. So business interests are very well represented on Beacon Hill. They weigh in. And so the bill, you can't go and look to the legislature website and say, oh, it says this, so that's what the law will be. It will change a lot as it moves through the legislature. Um, but that's one to keep your eye on. And, and then finally, there's a fair work week bill, and that um, requires 14-day advance notice of scheduling. So for employee, employers who have a lot of employees who are wage employees, um, it would require a 14-day advance notice of schedule. Uh, when hiring a new employee, you'd have to give them an approximate schedule. If that schedule changes, uh, they need to be updated. Um, they uh, employers would get employees would get predictability pay. So if that schedule changes suddenly on them, they can be paid. Um, it, it would include changing time, location, adding hours. Uh, it would it would ban the so-called clopening <laughs> shifts, which is where you both close and open. Uh, if you're a retail establishment, for instance, so Starbucks has already voluntarily said they would ban those shifts for employees. Um, so. Uh, that bill has a lot of different piece parts. I won't go through all of them, but that, that would be significant for those of you who have a number of hourly wage employees. Um, and I guess the final thing I, I'd mention is obviously now cannabis, marijuana is legal in our state. And um, there is a bill that's been filed that would 
uh, prohibit discrimination based on the lawful use of cannabis. So if you're an employer who does drug testing, it comes back positive, marijuana stays in your system a long, long time. I've heard different numbers, 21 days, 28 days, 34 days, whatever it may be. Um, it would add another protected class of employees to Chapter 151B, which is our main anti-discrimination law, that uh, those who test positive for cannabis, you can't refuse to hire them, you can't, any adverse employment action, not promoting them, uh, firing them, you can't do any of that uh, just because they test positive. Now, if they're impaired at work, obviously it's much different, very different. And um, um, so uh, that's an overview of some of the bills that are pending. As I said, if you ever have a question or concern, if you're a client of the firm or thinking of becoming a client of the firm or, or just here as a matter of interest, I'm always happy to answer any of your questions about what's going on in the legislature. So thanks for listening.